Okay, so if you saw my 120 volt charging uh, video, you will notice that I, you will know that I have a portable connector. This is my portable connector. Uh, right now, for $230, you can buy on Tesla, you can buy the connector, it comes with the bag, and it comes with these two connectors. This is a 120, and this is a 240, that's a 1450 plug. Okay, so I have a dryer outlet. This is also a 240. This is a 1430. So you can buy this extra at this at the same uh, website, Tesla store. Um, so since this matches my outlet, I bought this one. And so the good news is, is you can, uh, dep depend on what you have, you can shop around and see if they have a connector that you can use. They're, they run 35 to 45 bucks. Not bad. Okay, so here we are by my dryer. This is, this is the 1430 plug. As you can see also from, from this. So what, what I started doing was, I started hanging the, the dryer plug from a, a bungee cord so that I can get it back out easily. Let's go get everything hooked up. Okay, so the idea here is, you can see that, that the plug has a slant on the connector and the EVSE or connector has a, has a slant. So you line up the, the slants and push the plugs in. There we go, everything's all connected. Uh, just got a plug in. So. Um, the one thing I didn't really talk about was um, you, because of the way this plug is oriented, you'll end up with this connector hanging down as opposed to going up. Uh, you actually, you want it to hang down, but um, just to keep that in mind, if your plug is oriented the other way, you'll have to turn it the other way, obviously. Okay, so... When I started using the uh, dryer port, what it, what I had been doing was using the supercharger and Cedar Park to charge. That and you know you're you're paying for that, so it gets old. The 120 volts, it would take care of short trips, but it wouldn't take care of longer trips. So I need something that was a little bit more robust. So here, so what I have to do, here's my car backed into the garage. Since my cable is not all that long, I have to back into the garage. And there it is, it's backed in. So here's the utility room. The utility room for the washer and dryer is right next to the garage. There is a door here. But, uh, you know, I, I, there's a second door over there that I can close to control air conditioning or heating. And then down here is the port. So there you go. Um, you, you, what you all do is depend upon what plugs you have in your garage or close to your garage. The, this is the, the poor plug I just happen to have. Okay, so here's the connector. I plugged in the uh, plug into the uh, receiver part of the connector. Take this around back to the dryer. Put that plug her in. Okay, so. There are some people who sell special adapter things for your dryer pl plug, where you can have, keep your dryer plugged in and plug in your charger as well. Um, I don't have that. It costs it cost a fair amount of money. So uh, I always saw this as a temporary solution anyway. So that's where that's at. Okay, so just to confirm, uh, yes, indeed, uh, the charger cable doesn't reach all the way to the end of my car so I do have to back in. So here we are. Here's a little dot. So I'm on the dot. Oh. Okay, there we go. Plug her in. Light blue, dark blue. Click, click. Green. So there we go, we're charging. Um, wow. 
I'm ramping up to 6 kilowatts. I'm at 61%. My charge limit is set to 81. I'm going up to 24 amps. There you go. Uh, let's see. And uh, it's going to take 2 hours and 45 minutes to do that 20% charge. And to help with the... Uh, uh, well, it was air conditioning in the summer, right? But here we are in the winter. That's 32 degrees, 31 degrees outside. So um, I do try to close doors as much as I can here. And just uh, try to help keep the cold outside and keep the warmth inside. I'm putting a towel out down on the interior door of the utility room. All right, here we go. Charging's complete. Um, zero kilowatts. Plus 14 kilowatts, so we added 14 kilowatts. It was running at 24 amps, and it's researching. And the charge limit's 81, we're at 81%. 81% 81 is 249 miles. So there you go, uh, let's say 40.